strong. <laughs> sure you were. Let's see your security pass. Security pass. Passes? Passes? Starscream! I don't have to show you no stinking passes. Welcome back to the Tiger Hangar. This is Mike. I'm coming at you with the X Transbots MX. Uh, MXXXXV, I, 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 what's the number there? Uh, this is their take on slow and peaceful, wait, no, fast and fury. And these are, well, their take on runabout and run amok. I, I think they're great. I mean, I'm sure off the bat. I mean, I haven't had any issues with them, but I'm going to show you how I didn't have any issues with them. But great looking figures overall. I did get to show you. I'm going to link down below TH reviewer code if you want to put that in there and help out. Uh, the TH Tidium Hanger, but let's get into looking at these, and um, they weren't my favorite characters on my list. They didn't top any of my top lists, but they came out really well. So we'll talk about this and more coming up. All right, here is the packaging, as you can see, Fast and Fury, very x transbots ish and there it is on the back. I'm sure there's gonna be repaints. I'm sure there's probably already repaints up. Oh, hey, what do we got here? We got Ratchet and Ironhide, some cross sell going on. Some crazy stuff that they like to do. This shows kind of a, some interesting stuff there. Tech specs. All right, so here they are in their alt modes. And it seems like these days we get most of them in their bot mode. And so it's kind of strange to get them in their alt mode, but we're gonna transform anyway. So it doesn't really matter, but this is how they look. And they both pass QC, so there'll be no problems with these whatsoever. Anyhow, kind of looking at them side by side, they both look great. Uh, let's get them in frame and keep them in frame. And what is this, a Lotus Esprit? And this is what, a Trans Am or something like that? So that's something along those lines, or maybe this is, uh, well, whatever. I don't, I don't presume to know exactly, but they look pretty good. Uh, looking at them from the back, they look decent. Now, I did have this one, I think this one was a little bit mistransformed when I got it. And I had a little trouble with the hood, and then I didn't play with this hood, so I probably should play with this hood just a little bit, get it tabbed in. But what it was, and I'll, when I open the hood and show you that kind of stuff, I'll show you what it was that I had issues with straight out of the box. But what a big deal, and I imagine that there'll be some minor issues, and shipping and the rattling around and stuff. But uh, one feature on this is this flip around tail light. It's only on this one, so when you look at this one here, you don't have clear tail lights that flip around. Here you have clear tail lights that flip around. You can make it go either way you want. You have ridges, like ruffles have ridges, and then you have the smooth non-ridges. And I, I wonder if that has to do with uh, when it comes to uh, what animation, or does it come to actual vehicle model stuff? You do have these side pieces here that the side view mirrors are on permanently, and they're fixed pretty well. I don't, I haven't seen or heard of anybody breaking them yet. But they are, of course, different. So these two are different, completely different looking car modes for a very similar transformation. Transformation is slightly different between the two of them. We're only going to transform one on camera because of time issues. But everything else is very similar. They share a lot of engineering. I think it's really smart how they can make the car modes look so different. But the bots look almost exactly the same. But with that, let's look at everything opening up. Oh, look, look a little uh, wiper on them. That's cool, too. Here with their doors and hoods open, as you can see, this is the reverse opening hood because of the model of the car and that one opens like so. Uh, the doors open. Now, there's a couple of issues. First of all, the door opens. I wouldn't say it's an issue as much as it destroys the whole illusion because of the faux chest. Now, would I want them to get rid of the faux chest? Probably not because I think it does give the character a better accurate look, but you don't see really what's going on in there. Although it's all molded and it, it would be a nice looking uh, interior and it's the same on both. It's just blocked. So they went through a lot of trouble that you don't get the end result out of it. The other thing is uh, we see the engine in here. It looks really nice. It's painted. And I like how they included that aspect. What is it? Like the back of uh, some part of them. That it's, it's just cool how they did that. Now my problem was that this was not going together. And so you just have to get in here and push these pieces together to push this together for the hood to go back together properly. And then of course, yeah, it does roll. They do roll. That's interesting, and uh, I just I, I don't know how many people's come out with the hood not together because of the way they do it, but uh, hopefully that helps people and it's a fix. But yeah, it's kind of cool that the I, I don't really care for the opening door so much because 
of, uh, well, ever since Fuzz, I said I don't want to see opening doors again. Now, if you have trouble opening your doors, I say you disconnect this and then use open it from the bottom so you don't break anything. And uh, that's a quick, easy tip. Now, it is different on this one than on this one. So uh, let's look at the hood in here. I don't enough light on that. I don't want too much light because it looks washed out and like, like I'm making a 70s uh, fun time video or something. Uh, if you want to open the door, you untab from here. So as you can see with the white one, it tabs in here. Fast Fury, I don't know which one's called which. I don't even care, to tell you the truth. But uh, I'm just going to refer to them both at the same time. So it tabs more into that, but you can open the door like this. If you can't get it open by just kind of getting your finger in there. Which, it's hard. It's actually hard. Like, I almost wanted to grab this, but you will pop that off. So, anyway. Hopefully that's helpful. There's the alt modes. Looking pretty good. Let's do some comparisons. First, I want to compare them to Fuzz. Deputy Fuzz. No, it's not Deputy Fuzz. It is... I've grown to hate this thing. <laughs> I think this is what got me to not pre-order Groove. But I still don't have all this working. And I'm done messing with it, but... Pop. It pops right out. It's I can't get it to tab in just right here. And I have everything lined up exactly like it should be. Uh, I can't figure out. If I've done something wrong, I, just, I don't get it. So with that, it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's just going to be a leg, I know. But fuzz. Ugh. I know it's apples and oranges, but it's Legends and it's Iron Factory. So they're not even going for the same thing. But there's a comparison to the Iron Factory Racing Bro if you care here they are next to their long haul and was placed in a fans toys version here yeah there we go i still haven't transformed this back i still haven't transformed the fans toys power glide back and this is going to stay in this mode i think i will be using that one for my combined mode anyway here they are compared to the g1 and uh, it's a big deal comparing them to g1 because g1 is where it all began where we came from where we're going, where we are now. Will anybody take these on other than trans bots? Probably not. But move these out of the way. And I just want to show you what we really came from. We came from this. Come on, do it. There it goes. Okay, mine's kind of sad and pathetic, but it auto transforms theoretically. It was an auto transformer back in the day. Really a pathetic toy overall, but they've turned them into something way way better before i get into weapon weapon storage before i get into transformation i want to show weapon storage almost forgot it but uh these just fit and nestle right in there you'll see it when we get into transformation we'll see exactly how it goes in there but i'm really worried about the red one because the red weapon's painted and it probably doesn't paint rub on it but i guess you don't have a choice either don't store it down there or uh rub your paint i guess i guess that's how it's gonna go anyway we'll see that in transformation so getting into the transformation as we go, there are some differences, I believe. So as we go, I'll kind of show you what I, I view as the differences. I don't think they're that big of a deal. But first of all, let's go ahead and come down here. Now, I've already shown this difference, just the way these doors tab. So it's a little bit different. Not that big of a deal, in my opinion. Let's untab all this good stuff that we can get untabbed here. And then we want to be probably okay to get this hood up a little bit and it'll help with some of the stuff and to not scratch the paint that would suck then you can kind of pop this up and then we're going to come over here and we are going to get the legs out so we're going to this is going to sound funny but that's some good ratcheting ratchet action going on right there tight and then let's get down here let's make sure that when i spread this there's that gun, and I was talking about it. We're going to see it. We'll come back to that here in a bit. And then we're going to get down here to the nitty-gritty of the legs. And we are going to need to get the foot out of the way. So how we do that... This foot has like a double hinge system on it, and it's going to come down here. And we are going to mess with that here in just a bit. But you can see you can get all of that out of the way and then we are going to work on this hood so we need to take the hood get it folded into here why is that not working for me this is that slide variation uh, on the other one this has a slider this one does not have a slider 
So we are going to move this up, kind of get some clearance right here to fold this up. We need that clearance to fold this in. There we go. That wasn't as easy as it looked. That's a little scary. And then we are going to flip this around like so we are going to be getting into this is going to fold into it when we are all done now over here we're going to fold this out and then we're going to open this tab here on the inside it's another one of those wonderful filler tabs and then this is going to rotate around into it then we're going to pull the knee down to create the nice illusion this piece here will come around and fill in a gap, but we're not quite ready for that yet, but it's still there. And then this is going to come around and fold in. So let's get all of this lined up and get this to fold in. Bring the windshield in and everything. And then there's a tab and a slot and there's some sliders in here. So as long as it's all lining up, we're all good. We're fine. We're all fine here. How are you? Then we wiggle this around a little bit and get that into place. Now on to the foot. And everything feels nice and tight. And it feels nice, tight, and right up to this point. This is a difference. So this part here, uh, we need to fold the wheel down. And then this needs to come around. Hold on a second. This also folds down and around on the foot and then this piece here the wheels come out they come down for more stability this comes up and this is a difference does this is where I'm a look I'm sounding I'm probably looking a little confused because on the other one so the way that works it's really simple instead of folding around this just kind of folds under Instead of folding into there, this folds under. So that's the first kind of, in my opinion, major difference between Just the two that. of these. Now we're on to having the legs done for the most part. We're going to get up here into the top. Now we're going to disconnect this and disconnect this. And it's going to fold around like so. And that does not sound good, but it is what it is, right? Fold this around like so. There's like three steps that make this weird snapping sound i folded these out let me uh adjust the camera all right let's get around to here in the back we can do a few things before we go to the next step we can do this fold these down and then we can fold the steering wheel up now on the other one i think the steering wheel was already laying flat to the top of the roof there so there it is and then before we do much more, I want to disconnect all of this stuff so that we can free everything up. And there are a few tabs tabbed together. Kind of bring this. There it goes. Like so. And then these arms are going to come down and around. Down and around. And then we're going to free up all of this. To do its thing and we want to keep these out of the way we're going to fold this up and over and back into this and then gotta get these wheels to clear Arr. this has to clear too this goes in wheels go in this goes in wheels go in and then we're going to work on that here in just a little bit, but we have to get this chest piece down. And what we're doing is we're creating kind of the, the, the where the front meets the collarbone for the most part. And that should rest in there. There's some tabs here that go into the slots like so. But I kind of feel like it's natural. Like it'll just naturally sit like that as long as we got everything else properly in place. So then we need to bring bring this back. Mm. 
There we go. And then from this point, we tuck them in. We'll tuck these in and bring it down. And you're going to hinge this down. And then that's coming down. And then we have a couple of tabbing slots. But let's make sure we got everything else aligned right. Uh, let's see this here. That's going to be able to go up into its position. So that's sort of aligned right. And then we have tabs in a couple of slots. Now, get that collarbone in there just right. And then start tabbing this stuff in. Uh, first, before we get into that, we do need to plug this the side filler pieces in to the waste piece. Don't waste time with that. Uh, we have to have all of this down and it has to be at the right angle for it to line up. All right, this part I don't truly understand. I just wiggle it and fiddle with it till it lines up. And I don't exactly know uh, what I did, but I uh, didn't want to leave another minute of just fiddling with it on camera. But man, that's, uh, that is one weird thing about it that I don't understand truly. Now we need to come back around here to with the shoulders out of the way and these in there it's going to come down and start tabbing in on the sides this piece here tabs into the back come on like that and then there's some tabs up top which seem to just come right into it also we're going to need to put these together and tab that in which is going to be the signature uh runabout run amok look to it Head turns around, and then we get into the arms, and see, I don't think I got that just right. Anyhow, I'm not too worried about that. It looks okay. Now, we're going to get into this, open that up, uh, fold the arm down, slide the arm out, and then this piece folds down. The difference between the two of these is that on this one here, you have this, uh, this piece for the top, so that fold this down and the top comes out so that's like a different way they did it I don't know why but here it's just like one solid and here it's different so slightly different for this one not sure why they did that I don't know pull the hand out get everything aligned just right for that we're almost done are we done are we done are we done almost getting close and then same thing with this arm here fold it around close that piece up pull this out get the hand out put his gun in his hand align all his shoulder and stuff just right and uh, we're there so slight differences I'm gonna clean it up we're gonna take a look at it difference I forgot which is way easier to show on this one is that these when when these wheels clip in there's like a tab on the, on the other one that you push in and what I did is I kind of used a not 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 the screwdriver like I use but I used a key actually to push the tab into place so maybe that helps with that one part but uh, I think that's about all the differences they have and yeah let's get into looking at these guys so here we go with Runabout and Runamuck Fast and Fury in their bot modes and I've got a couple of them to compare it to and I gotta say they look good they look great and uh, I've heard some QC issues from people, people saying that they've had problems with breakages and stuff. And I'm not surprised because there are a few really thin points for breakage, which I'll go over here in just a bit. But the first thing I want to say, uh, without taking out of pose, is that I know a lot of people trash x transbots, And these are prime targets because nobody else is going to make them. And people are looking at excuses not to spend 100 bucks a piece. But uh, let, 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 me, let me just, let's just go one at a time here. This guy is pretty dang solid. Like you can see, I'm holding it all kinds of different, like look how he goes, hold it by his thigh. Like nothing gives. Shake him. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to like sell a, a transbots or anything. I'm just saying that I've heard a lot of horror stories about these figures and all the other figures that they've made. And I really like these figures and I haven't had QC issues with them. The transformations are not the most fun and I probably would like easier transformations, but QC, I don't see a QC issue with them other than the fact that you could break them. Now, here's how you can break them. These pieces right here, 
really thin hinges right in here with these parts. That's an easy way. So I, I, I like fear people breaking those. And uh, there's some stuff in the legs. So some of the stuff in the legs could easily be broken. I didn't fold that flap over, that tab over. Bad me. But yeah, it's uh, solid figures, both of them. And uh, let's see, is there a flap I got to... Yep, I didn't. Same thing. Same thing on this one. I didn't fold that flap over. I mean, still, it's not a QC issue as I didn't fold that over. I was in a hurry to not have a 30 minute video, which probably still will turn in 30 minutes. But uh, same thing. Look, I, I mean, what, 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 am, what am I supposed to say about about the uh, quality, the QC? And so I think it's they're well made. They look good. I mean, what more could anyone ask for out of a runabout and run amok? Other than the fact that that I'm going to be honest, character-wise, they weren't at the top of my list. I mean, I got them. I'm happy they made them. But character-wise, I really wasn't super excited about them. I, I really like some of the other ones we're going to compare it to a lot more. And other ones that are coming, I want a lot more. But these are done well and probably better than some of the ones that I actually like more. And uh, yeah, so great quality. Let's get into some <laughs> aesthetics and articulation. All right, you pick. Which one do you want me to do articulation on? And I'll, it'll be an interactive video, and then it'll switch to the one you ask for. It's a, it's a new feature on YouTube. But uh, look at the pearlescent white. So it's not bright white, and which is cool. I mean, how close is it to that? It looks better than this. This is like, <laughs> it's yellowed over 20 years, and this is a pearlescent, like it was deliberate. I don't like fuzz at all. That figure sucks, but uh, it, it, this looks good. It's got some some black paint right here uh they do both match the aesthetic of the cartoon which is a really good it's really the way it should be uh you do see some carryover in the from the alt mode and the the nice touch right here with this which we'll see when we do the g1 uh that's a nice touch too that's an homage to the g1 and the back they're real slim though so that's something that uh, I don't think is a bad thing, but they are just real slim. On this guy right here, uh, same thing, everything's same. I don't, the whole has to do with holding together the top piece uh, over the faux. And I, I, it's there's a hole right there for the tab. The hole's right here. I would probably have rather had the tab right here, but I mean, engineering is a little different, slightly different, but this has painted. It painted head to toe, both of them, paint, 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 which is another thing to be scared of scratching the paint, which I was. And let's see how weak the knees are. So the weak, knees are a little weaker than I would like, but still, he has no problem standing at all. We'll do the articulation on this one since all y'all just voted for this guy. And yeah, he looks good. I mean, the painted gun, I don't think this gun's painted though, because it just came out black, but this uh, a red. I think it was the same exact gun, and they decided to make them both black and paint this one red. That's probably what happened. That probably is what happened with him, but he's got some, some nice uh, metallic red eyes there, metallic red on the windshield. So a lot of stuff going through. So in the alt mode is clear windshield. In this mode, metallic windshield. Anyway, looking pretty good. A little bit of stuff carrying over. Let's go ahead and do articulation. Articulation the head side to side, up and down. And I cut my finger <sighs> really bad. I was fixing something. Ugh, I actually drilled right through it. And you know, as a champ, I did. I finished the repair <laughs> with my finger bleeding. Anyway, uh, he's got a nice. Uh, we got butterfly, so he can do this good stunt right here uh, with the hand to hold the gun and then that kind of stunt right there all right shoulder goes out this far up all that ways and yeah it does come down like that so that's as, that's how far the shoulder can go we can do some saturday night live staying alive and then uh bicep bicep swivel and then it's not a double joint right there so i mean it, that's it is what it is you got the hand that goes around, you got typewriter kind of fingers, and a static thumb that holds the gun in place like ridiculously well. All right, down here, waist swivel, ab crunch to magic square level. But uh, you gotta be careful because you can make these little pieces pop out. So I don't like that. Uh, very well ratcheted. So now he's a showgirl. Uh, you know, Jesse Spano is a showgirl. She did a good job too, you know. There we go, right there, and then here it goes out to, only out to there, which, I mean, is that the end of the world? Is that the end of all? I don't know, you tell me, is that enough of a high kick? <laughs> spinning, spinning kick. Yeah, that's enough of a high kick. Anyway, getting into the rest of this articulation here, uh, he does have thigh swivel in both thighs. 
Uh, I think it 360s. Well, it will kind of bump into itself before it 360s. Um, knee goes to there. So it is double jointed. And I do kind of like how it kind of goes back. It does break sculpt a little bit, but. And then uh, side to side, up and down. I mean, this is a ridiculous amount of articulation in a foot. Like everything you could possibly want. And you can get them in a walking pose. Let's get them in a walking pose. Or, <laughs> it's like, skip to the duo. For comparison, aka make my clickbait, I mean thumbnail, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, <laughs> looking at this, these are some beautiful figures. And I kind of put all these in the same group. I say, these are the obscure, they're car bots, they aren't really very prominent in the G1 toy line. But they are really cool figures, really cool characters. No other company is going to tackle them. Just that's mark my words. Like nobody's going to tackle these. And if they do, it's years down the road. And then will they still look as good? These all look magnificent. Just look at that. They all look magnificent. Really love him. Really love both of these that I bought. I might get another one of him in a different color. Haven't decided yet. But still, overall, they all look great. But I feel like these quality-wise are even better than these. And I don't really have any problems with him. His elbow or something was kind of loose or shoulder uh the japanese version all that was tightened up and fixed by the time we got the japanese version so that was pretty cool but uh let's see the other ones here they are next to their g1 counterparts and i have to say that the g1 counterparts are they're really crappy figures they suck they were like little auto transforming pop-up figures i showed you that but there's homage with this back piece still connected like up there the way the arm is on this one the way the transformation on the rear end kind of pops out it's it signifies uh some homage to this but uh, way better. I mean, I, I always thought these sucked. I did not buy these. I bought lots for other figures, and they were just in it. And I was like, well, they're a Transformer, so I won't throw them away or get rid of them or anything. That's why I have them. That's the only reason I have them. I never went out to buy these. They just were lumped in with something else I was buying. Now, I did buy these. I'm not sure the camera's going to pick this up quite well, but these are the ones that Hasbro made. And I, I so that one, the light's going to reflect pretty well off of the white one. This one here that's a little darker. Uh, this is jet black. This is more of a charcoal. But as you can see, these are chunky monkeys compared to the thinner, more accurate, more screen accurate. But those are still good ones Hasbro did. I would say that these are actually quite great. This is what Iron Factory did, and so I'm going to have to hold it so you can see. And it's stylized. I didn't think it's that great. I got it because these were obscure, and I was like, nobody's ever going to make them. And then x makes them, so there it is. And then let's get some more stuff in here. Yeah, that's kind of all the stuff that's going on. How do they stack up to a Masterpiece Prime? There he is next to, both of them next to Masterpiece Prime. That's how they scale. Yo, Biff, what's that? also forgot to mention that the Hasbro ones are selling for like 100 bucks each on eBay. Secondary market. I don't know where else you'd get them uh, other than eBay. I don't know if they'll ever reissue them. And that's how Hasbro is. The obscure stuff, if you don't jump on it while they're selling it, they don't usually reissue obscure stuff. If you're like a Wheeljack, you know Wheeljack's coming back. If you're Runabout Runamuck, uh, you're out of luck. All right, so what do I think about the X trans bots? Fast and Fury, they're running back and run amok. I think they're great figures. I think that they're solid. I think they're really working on making these car bots right and doing them a really good job with them. I haven't had any QC issues. Now, I know other people have, and I'm sorry about that if you had some QC issues, but mine didn't, and that makes me happy. But I do want to say that we've got more stuff on the way. The rest of the Omni bots are on the way and a whole lot more stuff that I'm excited about. Another a Devastator and a whole bunch of stuff from x bots. And these really do inspire confidence in me, mine, because they came out so well and they look good. I don't think anybody else is going to make them. The paint's phenomenal. They look great. The transformation isn't the most funnest transformation I've ever transformed, but it's not impossible. And a few minor places that could cause breakage that you want to watch out for but aside from that i think they're really good figures and i i will have a link down below where you can get these at showsy i did get both of these at showsy they arrived like two days apart even though i paid for them on the same day or well, i probably think i think i paid for them two days apart anyway let me know what you think about these in the comments below did you get these did you have any issues with them or did you have the same experience that i did i hope you did like and subscribe and tell hang around We're two of the hardest charging dudes the Decepticons got. And what does Galvatron give us? Huh, duty on this dinky planet. Yeah, we should be leaving the scourge. Hold it right there. Galvatron put a bounty on your head. My Decepticon comrades, there has been a misunderstanding. I was on a secret mission. So Galvatron... <laughs> Say goodbye, Runamuck. Runabout, what are you doing? Oh! Night.
pretty night. <laughs>